In this problem, we need to find the sum of the first n terms of a geometric progression such that the sum of the first three terms is 16 and the sum of the next three terms is 128. So let's begin. We will suppose that the first term is represented by the letter A and the common ratio will be represented by the letter R in lower case. So it's given here that the sum of the first three terms. So we have a first term A, the second term will be AR, third term will be AR squared. So their sum is equals to 16. So if we take A as the common factor, so we have A multiplied to 1 plus R plus R squared. This is equals to 16. Let this be equation number 1. And the sum of the next three terms. So the term next to AR squared will be AR cubed. So we have AR cubed followed by AR raised to the power of 4 plus AR raised to the power of 5. So this sum is equals to 128. So if we take AR cubed as the common factor, then we have AR cubed multiplied to 1 plus R plus R squared. And this value will be equals to 128. So let this be equation number 2. Now what we'll do, we'll divide equation number 2 with equation number 1. This is going to give us, so we have AR cubed the, um, multiplied to 1 plus R plus R squared, all divided by a times 1 plus r plus r squared. This will be equals to 128 divided by 16. So here we have a and a cancelling out. Then 1 plus r plus r squared cancelling out from the numerator and the denominator. So this leaves us with r cube equals to 128 divided by 16. So that's 8. So that means if we take the positive cube root, then r value will be equals to so now that we have the value of our common ratio r, we can use either equation 1 or equation 2 to obtain the value of our first term. So let's use uh, equation number 1. So from equation number 1, it follows that we have a multiplied to 1 plus r plus r squared. This is equals to 16. We have a time. So 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So we have 7a equals to 16. It's dividing both sides by 7. We have 16 divided by 7. So this is going to be a first term. Now that we have the common ratio as well as the first term, we can use the formula for finding out the sum of the n terms. So we know that, so let's write down the sum formula. So we know the sum is represented by Sn equals to a times r raised to the power of n minus 1 whole divided by r minus 1 this is true when our common ratio r value is greater than 1 now since uh, r equals to 2 this is greater than 1 we'll be using this particular formula hence uh, we can substitute the value so sum up to the n term will be equals to a value that's 16 over 7 multiplied to r so r is 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 whole divided by r minus 1 so since r is 2 so 2 minus 1 will be simply 1. So this is the sum up to the nth term.